Okay, question 12. Um, when a number is reduced by 30%, the answer is one oh, 17,920. What is the number? So there is a couple of ways to do this, really. You can think to yourself, when I reduce a number by 30%, what percentage is left? Well, 100, take away 30, it's going to leave me with 70. So this is like 70% of a number. So we can say, okay, you know, 70% of a number is equal to 17,920. If I can use like a, do the same to both sides sort of technique, to, I can't go from 70 to 100, so what I'll do is I'll go from 70 down to 10%, and then from 10 I can go up to 100 nice and easily, to get back to the original number. So I would divide by 7 to get to 10%, and from 10 to 100 I'd have to times it by 10, and I would just follow those steps on the other side, identical, but just apply those to the number. So if you do 17,920 divided by 7, you will get 2,516. And if you times that by 10 on your calculator, you will get to 25,600. And that is the answer. Okay, so that is one way of doing that question. Another way is to think, right, when we had a number, we're looking for the original value, so like a reverse percentage. We had a number, we don't know what it was, so we'll call it x. We times it by something to reduce it by 30%. Well, like I said, if you want to reduce something by 30%, you're looking for 70%. So what's the multiplier to get 70% of a mystery number? You would times it by 0.7. And then that would give you the answer. They told you the answer. That would give you 17,920. And you might be thinking, great, well, what use is that, basically? Well, if you know the answer, and you know how you got to the answer, then all you need to do is do the opposite to get back to the original number that you started with. So what we should do is we should take the answer, do the inverse, do the opposite to timesing by 0.7, which the opposite of timesing is dividing, and that will give you the number that you must have started with, which again is 25,600. All right, so try and learn your percentage multipliers, and then hopefully that will be straightforward on a calculator.